patients who are children. And we have to remember that along with that comes medications or even tests that have to be done that were designed for adults. So when you want to treat a child, not every medication comes in a liquid form and not every test is to be done on a child-sized person. So it was important for us to come up with ways to work around that. Dr. Saklo and I started this idea of the jelly bean test to really address these concerns. We started to perform tests called capsule endoscopy, which is actually a wireless capsule that a patient swallows and takes pictures throughout their small intestine. And when we looked at the size of the actual capsule, it was approximately the size of a large jelly bean, not one of those tiny ones. And kids really are fearful of tests and medications, but when it comes to candy, they really love it. So we thought one way to overcome that fear was to teach them how to swallow something that was a comparable size, but it being something that they didn't fear. This is also a good technique to teach a kid how to swallow a pill, because if they come to a scenario where they have to take a medication and it doesn't come in another form, it's important for their health. And it's better to do it in a situation where it's not impending or important for them to do it in a matter of time, but in a situation where it's calm and they can learn to do it at their own pace. So the idea of the jelly bean test was that you start with a very tiny M&M-like size candy and the child tries to swallow it in a controlled situation, maybe once a day, until they really are successful. And from there, you go up to a Tic Tac, which is slightly larger, and if they're successful swallowing that, a regular-sized M&M. And lastly, if the regular-sized M&M is a breeze, you go onto that large jelly bean. And if you can swallow that large jelly bean, you can pretty much swallow any medication or take, swallow that camera pill with ease. And it would really allow children to have the confidence to not only take medication, but um, actively have these tests that may not have been readily available for them. We have found that the jelly bean test has been quite successful in our patients. When we know that we want to perform certain tests, we send them home with this homework. They get homework at school, they get homework from the doctor's office. When they call us and tell us, we did it, I can swallow the pill, we get excited as well because we know that now the fear is gone and they'll be successful at what they do for the test.